Hello and welcome to Surf Pro Techniques. I'm your host Chapin Cruder, and today we'll be discussing barrel writing. I will be touching a little bit about how to find a barrel, but that will come in a different segment. Today we're just going to be discussing the technique, the specific technique necessary to writing inside of a barrel. And fortunate for me and all of us now, Kelly Slater has created a perfect wave that from this point forward we'll be able to dissect every single aspect of technique and surfing from here on out. So let's get started with the man himself, Kelly Slater, and really start to break down and focus on what he's doing inside of the barrel that maintains his position in the barrel to keep him from dropping too low and too high. So as you can see here, if you focus in on his back foot, his heel is up and his toes are all the way over on the back rail of his surfboard. Also note the positioning of his back knee. It's pointed forward and extremely close to his front leg. By keeping pressure on that back right rail enables him to make small adjustments with the surfboard that keeps him prevents him actually from dropping too low in the barrel and then getting the lip caught on the top of his surfboard on his back or getting too high up in the barrel and just getting flipped upside down and what you'll notice when i pair kelly slater's technique with stephanie gilmore's technique is that it's the exact same when you look closely at stephanie's back foot she her technique is her laying her foot flat on its side, but she can still roll onto her toes and give that rail that sharp sort of pressure that it needs to rise the board up higher into the wave or put pressure on the front foot to drop it down lower, keeping herself in that sweet spot. You'll also notice that her right knee is pointed forward and close to her front leg, just like Kelly Slater's. These are both very good examples of the little adjustments needed just to stay in that perfect position in this type of wave. It should be noted that when you're riding in bigger barrels, you can make bigger adjustments, but for smaller barrels like this, all you really need is just a little bit of pressure to maintain that perfect spot in the barrel. Now, some of you are probably saying that, of course, on this type of wave, it's very easy to get barreled and ride inside a barrel. And I totally agree with you. If you had an empty wave like this within the first 10 waves, you'd probably be getting barreled and figuring out how to maintain your position within that barrel to ride it for a long distance. But because most of us aren't that lucky and we're going to always have to be searching for the barrel in imperfect conditions, what we do have is the ability to recognize the right technique needed to maintain our position in any type of barrel that will then up our success rate of getting barreled and riding in a barrel for a long period of time and hopefully coming out. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about your speed within the barrel and how to maintain your speed and check your speed. If you'll notice Kelly Slater's foot isn't all the way back on his surfboard and neither is Stephanie Gilmore's when we contrast it with her wave. They're stepped up to the top of their pal tail pad, maybe even off of their tail pad, and both are using their right hand to drag on the face of the wave to slow themselves down. By having your foot up a little farther, you're maintaining the optimal plane of the surfboard to keep you flowing through the barrel. And then by dragging your hand, you're obviously slowing yourself down and then by taking your hand off the face of the wave, you're speeding yourself up, enabling you to, again, maintain that perfect position within the barrel. And the last thing that should be noted is the head positioning of both Stephanie Gilmore and Kelly Slater while they're riding in the barrel. As you can see, they both maintain the same chin up, eyes focused in front of them, head position throughout the entire barrel. They never drop their head. They never lose sight of where they want to go. And I would argue that a lot of the time their eyes are not focused directly ahead of them. 
they're actually focused up on the top of the wave where it's curling in front of them as and that helps them keep their higher position within the barrel so let's recap on the three key elements needed for riding in a barrel one is foot positioning you need to have your back foot up on the board to maintain that optimal plane you need to have your back foot over on the rail of the board distributing pressure on that rail to keep your position within the barrel you need to have your knee tucked in tight going forward it doesn't always have to be as close as it is to Kelly Slater's front leg because it will depend on the size of the wave and the barrel that you're in but you need to have your knee pointed forward along with the rest of your body you need to have your chin up eyes focused in the direction you want to go never drop your head or never drop your eyes either that will drop you too low within the barrel and you'll lose it and speed checking you'll need to continually check your speed with your hand on the face of the wave to either slow you down or speed you up thank you for choosing surf pro techniques i hope this helps with all your bell riding endeavors and shed some light on the techniques necessary to maintain a long ride within a barrel if you like what you saw here please like share comment you can follow me on instagram at surf pro techniques you can check us out on facebook at surf pro techniques and you can always just email me with any inquiries questions or possible videos you'd like to see made um, on surfing technique at chapin at surfprotechniques.com